Welcome to the Mama Bear Den. Remember your headphones. Oh, hello. You're up late. I mean, I am too, obviously. But I'm just a bit of a night owl is all. I didn't know you were as well, apparently, to be up at this hour. But life is full of surprises, hmm? For instance, I wasn't expecting you to notice me, much less approach the window. I mean, the slit in the curtains was so narrow I had no idea you'd notice I was there. Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't stalking you. Well, I wasn't stalking, necessarily. I mean, I was watching you for a short amount of time, relatively. I just, um, I just... Oh, is this your place? Oh, silly me, I thought this was my place. You know, I was thinking, who is this strange person sleeping in my bed? Not that you're strange, because I'm the one who was watching you sleep after all, but, um, I was just a little shocked as all, since I thought there was someone else in my place, and, uh, that's, that's it. That's why I was watching you. I was too nervous to enter what I thought was my place when there was someone else I didn't know inside. So I was waiting at the window. Yeah, I know it's, it's kind of weird that I would try to enter my home from the window and not the door, like, you know, a normal person, but, um... Variety is the spice of life. Why limit home entering to just doors, am I right? That gets old fast. My story is the adding up. Because it's the first time you've seen me stalking you from your window? Well, that, uh, that changes the calculations a bit. Are you sure it wasn't someone else those other 57 times? I mean, however many times there were? Okay, you got me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. I really don't want to bother you. It's just... It's just you're the only good thing in my life. And even though it's freezing cold out here in the rain, watching you always fills me with such warmth and... What? You want to let me in? To get out of the rain? I know it's wet and cold out here, but... I've been stalking you, and you're just inviting me in. Okay, if you insist, I won't argue, but just move to the side a bit so I can slide on through. Wow, it's a lot warmer inside. I mean, of course I'm still soaking wet, but this is honestly such an upgrade. Wow. I've seen the inside so many times, but this is the first time I've actually been on the inside of your home. It's like I'm stepping into holy ground. I actually feel really guilty, like I'm desecrating it. I'm so glad you let me in. I always wanted to enter, but I was always too nervous and I didn't want to have to break your window. I imagine it would be quite expensive to replace, and I wouldn't be able to repay you. Because, well, I'm poor. Oh, but I'm so sorry. I'm dripping wet and getting water all over your dry floor. Well, it was dry, but now it's not. Do you have a towel or something? I'll clean this up right away. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. What do you mean it can wait? What could be more important than the very floor you walk on? Well, other than you, of course. Wh what do you mean you need to get me out of my clothes? I mean, I love you, and I know I said I'm dripping wet, but it's just so soon, and I need some makeup, and... Oh, you mean to get me into warmer clothes, that... That would make a lot more sense than my fantasy. Well, okay then. If you have anything that'll fit me, then I'll wear it. I'll try not to sniff it too much. What? 
Oh, yes. Thank you for the towel. I'll get to work right away. Oh, I'm sorry. Was the towel for me to dry myself off? I thought you wanted me to dry the floor. Um, okay. Yeah, just hand me the change of clothes and I'll be back from the bathroom before you know it. Hello, I'm back. Just like I said, I'm really sorry for getting your floor all wet, so if you're alright with it, I'd like to go and... Oh, you already dried it off? You really didn't have to. You're already doing so much for me, I feel so guilty. I've been nothing but a burden. Doing it myself is the least I could do. But now that that's done, what should I do? I can understand if maybe you want to send me home as soon as the rain settles down. Not that I have one. Look by the fireplace. You... you... you set this up? For the both of us? You really didn't have to. I mean, yes, I'm still freezing and laying by the fireplace would really help, but you really didn't need to do all of this just for me. After all, y uh, after all you've already done, I, I, I could have just laid down on the floor. But you set out two bedrolls so I could have some company and and you, oh, oh, you laid out all of these wonderful snacks. And not just the cheap ones. Are these chocolate-covered almonds and the pretzels with the peanut butter in them? And there's even marshmallows to roast over the pl fireplace. That's so romantic. I'm sorry, was I rambling? Yes, I'll, I'll shut up and join you by the fireplace now. Oh, this is so amazing, laying by the fireplace with you, snacking on trail mix. Thank you again, by the way. And I even get to sleep in a bedroll with you. Well, okay, not laying in a bedroll with you, unfortunately. But I'm in a bedroll, and I'm sleeping with you. Okay, not with you, but next to you. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm I'm blabbering like an idiot here. You probably get what I'm trying to say, though, right? Right. I'm sorry. I was just overthinking things. I always do. Oh, no. It's fine. If there's anything you want to ask me, please ask. Like I said, you've just been doing so much for me. Absolutely everything. There's no way I can decline your requests. So ask away. I have nothing to hide. Wait, let me think. Okay, so maybe I do have a few things to hide, but uh, what would you expect from a stalker? But whatever you ask about, I won't hide from you. Really, pinky promise. Oh, you did hear what I whispered about not having a home? No, no. It, it's okay, I'll tell you. It's, uh, it's not a bother. If anything, I'll be happy to get it off my chest. So where do I begin? A while ago... And now, the story starts before that. So, there's something you should know about me. My defining trait is that I'm a useless piece of trash. I can't study, I can't work, I can't do chores, I really just cannot focus on anything. I can't take two steps without breaking down. I think you're the only exception, honestly. When I focus on you, I get all giddy and my hands and feet just guide themselves and I can actually get stuff done. Like making a drawing of you or writing a love poem to you. I'd show you the latter, but I die of embarrassment.
But anyway, the point of the story is I'm a filthy parasite who contributes nothing to my household. I contributed. See, I was just a burden, relying on my parents to pay bills until one day... One day... They got into an accident. M my sister inherited the house, and after being fed up with my lack of any redeeming qualities, she finally kicked me out. I honestly don't blame her. I'd probably kick me out too. I don't have a job or anything, so I've just been staying at a motel nearby using my inheritance. And it's pretty much gone now. I even skipped out on meals trying to make it last longer. And even when I was still eating, it was just instant noodles. These snacks are the only food I've eaten in a while. Thank you. And I'm sorry for bothering you with all of this. I know you probably have enough problems on your own without me. I just... I don't know what I'm going to do. Today was the last day I could afford to stay at the hotel. I've only got pocket change now. I know I really should have taken some steps to fix my future, but I always just freeze up and it's just so hard, but it's just so much easier to just... to just not... The only steps I can take are towards you. No. No, I could never ask that of you. You don't have to let me stay here. I've been harassing you, to put it lightly, and you seriously want me to stay with you? In your very home? Aren't you worried about your own safety? I'm obviously not right in the head. What if you wake up one day and... and... or what if you don't wake up? You order me to stay here with you. <laughs> That's rich, but... Well, I did see I couldn't decline your requests, so... Okay. An order is an order. So who am I to say no to you? Thank you. Will that be all, then? Do you have any other orders for me? <laughs> You, uh, did you hear my other whisper too then? About me regretting that I'm not truly laying in a bedroll with you? Well, you're the boss. Sure thing then. If you've got room for two in that bedroll, I'll gladly join you. Thank you for being so considerate about keeping me warm. Wow. This really is warmer. You're so warm. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I being creepy? I'll... I'll, um... Try to keep a lid on it. This is by far the happiest day of my life. I never in a million years imagined I'd be living with you. Cuddling up next to you all snugly. Oh, not to be presumptuous. I can understand if you don't really think this counts as cuddling. I mean, we're just next to each other, not really putting our arms around each other or anything like that. Though, if you ordered me to put my arms around you, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> just a thought. Just thinking out loud here. Sorry if it bothered you. I didn't mean to be a burden. You want me to stop calling myself a burden? Is that an order? Well then, I can't say no to you. Thank you to all of my viewers, all of my supporters, all of my patrons. Without your continued support, I would not be here today. Very special shoutouts go to Brian, Tyler,
Tercelona, Zeno Knox, Megaona, Kivaseye, Elisa, Edgar, Toby, Brandon, Aaron, Native Hero, Brazil, Shigath, Benimus Prime, Eric, Spirit Tamer, Eric, Night Empress, Cyborg Cloner, Loki-san, KeldyW, and Kitty Cat. Thank you. Your support helps me continue creating the wonderful content here today. And a special shout out goes to viewers like you. Fall into my yonder a trap. Trap me a capture. Yonder a target. Where are you, my dear? Where are you, my dear? Where can I find you? Where have you gone? My dear little kidnappy.